about the future of marijuana in Spokane. Well, if you needed proof that marijuana is a hot topic here, you should have seen the open forum with the Liquor Control Board last night. Nearly 450 people turned out to seek clarification on the state's new law. We'd like to, you know, apply by all the rules, but someone needs to give us the rules. And now we're getting word from the city where pot retail shops may be allowed to open. KXY4's Ian Cole joins us now live from an old dispensary in the South Perry District. And Ian, could that be a retail spot for pot? No, Nadine, it wouldn't because it's actually too close to a park. Now, under the initiative, these pot shops are going to have to be at least 1,000 feet away from things like schools, libraries, child care centers, and parks. And while this old dis dispensary doesn't qualify or make the list, other spots in the city will. On the north side of the main drag of Hilliard is a convenience store full of vices called Liquor and More, but the owner may soon change its name. I'd definitely be interested. I mean, there's going to be a market for it. Everyone will be getting it. Paul Garcha is the owner, and today we told him his store is on the city's new map of places that recreational marijuana shops can open in December. Now that I know, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> I wasn't aware this was at one of the strips. The map only includes areas zoned for industrial or commercial use. The shaded areas are where marijuana stores could be located, and they might surprise you. They include part of the shopping center near 29th Avenue and Southeast Boulevard on the South Hill, Highway 2 near the Airway Heights border, and coincidentally, there's an old Whitman bank up release with a drive through if you're an investor, and parts of downtown Hilliard. It's really hard to envision when you just read the initiative, so we need a visualization of it. Councilman John Snyder had the city planning department create the map. He wants Spokane to be ready when the Liquor Control Board finalizes its rules on retail stores. And be able to give those business owners a very clear um, idea of what they need to do to be good members of our community. As for Garcha, he's considering the switch, but the taxes on the state's newest industry might, in the end, keep him away. I mean, like with liquor, you know, it's it was profitable, and then uh, with the fees in the state, the profit has been pretty much taken out of the liquor business. The planning department says before anyone starts selling their own business or buying up property, this is a very preliminary map. They still need much more direction from the state liquor control board. Nadine. All right. You know, how long could that take? Well, they expect to start issuing these retailer licenses by mid-November, then they become effective on December 1st. That way that people can start up their businesses and be ready for the December 1st rush uh, when selling marijuana becomes legal. Reporting live in South Perry District, Ian Cole, KXY4, HG News.